Hello. Today we're gonna disassemble Acer laptop. The model is uh, E5-571G. Uh, Actually we have to replace the hard drive but since there is no service cover in here I'm gonna show you how to replace the hard drive because uh, the one inside is bad. So basically we have to disassemble most of the laptop to, to replace it so let's get started the first thing of course we have to take down the battery just slide the lock and remove the battery next thing we have one screw here which is holding the optical drive The next thing, of course, we have to take down all the screws. They're all the same size, so you shouldn't be worried. Some of the screws are loose, so it's a good idea to, to check them once in a while. It's better for the laptop, especially the ones that are holding the hinges. With the time they are getting loose. And especially this laptop uh, has been very... How do I say it? We are replacing the hard drive for the second or a third time, so basically it's been seen the better days. Uh, those are broken here, so probably the hinges are glued. So, the next thing, there's a plastics which are falling down. The next thing, of course, we open the laptop and we have to take the whole cover up. So basically, use something sharp. Start from... I'll try to show you. Start from, from the middle, like this. And gently open the cover. Like this on all the sides. Once you've done that, just start lifting, but be careful because uh, in here is the connector for the touchpad and for the keyboard, so be very caution about them. Like this. I'm gonna show you here you can see the cable for the touchpad and for for the power button and the keyboard so just gently lift everything use a tweezers or something to disconnect the cables so we are lifting the, the upper case like this. Basically, to remove the hard drive, you just have to remove this cable here. After that, remove the two screws which are holding the hard drive base and just slide it like this. Now the only thing you gotta do is just remove the two screws on each side, put the new drive and reinstall it on the reverse. Basically that's the whole procedure. I uh, hope you like the video, like and subscribe if you do, 
Bye bye for now.